Hello, welcome to another Blender, Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to talk about creating terrain in Blender. So, um, say you want to have a scene where you have some uh, hills or maybe mountains or uh, any other thing like that, basically. What you want to do is you're going to start with the plane. <coughs> that you're going to scale up something about this and having it selected go in edit mode and press W and click subdivide set the number of cuts to that's right 15 do it again and again and again until you can you almost cannot see individual faces anymore and now you can press your V key no no it's not the V key uh y y you gotta click here and go into sculpt mode basically so s what sculpt mode allows you to do is um Modify the mesh using um, smooth tools, and you can uh, pull the mesh towards you or push it down. Uh, it's kind of like working with clay. So um, let's put the let's increase the strength of this, and also by pressing F. You can change the size of your uh, tool. Just want to have it's kind of like a hill. Don't worry, we can smooth it out later. And here we have many tools that can be useful. So, for example, you can use the the smooth tool to smooth up the hills. Like that and we can use the flatten tool to create plateaus like creating flat areas um, let's see we can also go down by clicking here subtract so we we create holes in our uh, ground to say so like this and you can basically um, work with all the uh, all the tools and see wha what each one can do better for example you can use the grab tool to move around versus at a it's pretty it's a uh, pretty rough but it can uh, be useful to create weird shapes like this and I'm going to take the smooth tool And smooth it down like this. So um if I go back to object mode if I try to render this 
it doesn't look exactly right first of all because I still have that uh, pointer is not well smoothed now this is better and what I also need to do is in object mode go to modifiers tab and add a subsurf modifier and it can make the ground look even smoother and also set it to smooth lightning as for the light I can put it to a sunlight and let's see how it looks oh well, we have 263,000 vertices that is a huge number So uh, that's basically that's the basis of a uh, creating terrain for scene in Blender. Now all you have to do is add a material. It looks like sort of close to ground, or maybe you want them to be green hills, and then you can add textures, maybe even grass and other things. Now, that was one way you can edit terrain, but there is another one that can be useful if you want to actually say um, you animate, you want to animate some sort of moving terrain in a direction such such as like um, your uh, the camera is uh, mounted on a hell helicopter or a fast moving plane and the uh, terrain would move around it I'm going to show you how to do that first you need to add the texture uh, cloud texture is good and go to the colors select ramp and you need them to be more rough to say so uh, what I mean is the um, the difference between uh, the white points and the black points to be sh kind of sharper. Uh, yes, something like this. It's okay. And also playing around with the size and the depth can you can be helpful. So uh, we have this texture set up here. And now in object mode, I think there was, yes, we have the displace modifier. And we tell it to use that texture it has. And I think we need to add some subdivisions. Somehow it didn't work very well. I think the texture we selected is, yeah, this is the one, wow, the difference is pretty huge, so we need to work on this, so we can move it down, something like this I will also let's try increasing the size it's more something like this and we can set it to smooth add another subdivision for more smoothness And say we'd move the camera somewhere like this. So this this doesn't look exactly like realistic terrain. 
I'm gonna add some more edits to the texture. Uh, increasing depth helps a bit. Now you can see the difference between hard and soft. And so we have this. If we render it, it looks okay. So we're thinking, how would one animate this? Well, first of all, we need to add an empty object. And we're going to move somewhere around here. A position is not that important. And we're going to name this coordinates. And here's what we're going to do. In the displace modifier, we're going to use the texture coordinates. We're going to change this from map to object. And the object will be our coordinates. Whoa. Our coordinates objects. Now, this is very. I think I need to change this. Oh, now actually, I think I need to increase the size a lot. Yet yeah, it can't get smaller than this. Oh, what I have to do is actually increase the size of the MP that controls. So yeah. So basically, now you can use this object to control the texture. Neat, isn't it? So basically, uh, let's move the camera to a better point. Something like this. Change the background to a sky like color. Let's see how it looks. Good, and we can have this be sort of like a desert. So I'm going to add a material, make it yellowish like this, and set the specular to very small intensity and small hardness. So it basically spreads on the surface. Yeah, something like this. And here's now what we can do. So we have to move this object in the direction they want the travel to be like. So if you want the camera, let's say, to be like it would move in that direction, we need to move the object backwards like this. So uh, I'm going to press Alt Z to uh, get a better look at the object, and get frame one. Insert a keyframe for the location, and at frame 250, move it back somewhere around here. Is there another keyframe for location? Now I can go in the camera and press Alt A. Oh, I think I need to move the camera somewhere around.
also making this larger on the y-axis to make it look like it's bigger yeah this is definitely better so you can basically see how it transitions the displacement upon it and all you have to do it now is that an is that an interesting sound effect like a helicopter and oh this doesn't look quite right we I need to add a subdivision surface modifier set it to smooth let's see how it looks now Wow, that's a lot of waiting for just one frame. Well, I guess I can scale up the empty a bit more to make the terrain seem more smooth. And move it up like this. So yeah, you can also mm, make it move a lot faster if you want and just render the animation as I've shown you in the previous tutorial I'm not going to render this so this is the end of the tutorial I hope this is helpful